So I'm going to tell you about my CSF leak. Um, I end up having to talk about this all the time because as soon as you start saying that you're, you're leaking spinal fluid to anyone, it's, uh, it sounds kind of freaky, kind of weird. I end up talking a little bit like a, an M&S food advert when I say like this isn't your usual headache, this is a, a CSF uh, leak headache. Uh, it, it really isn't a headache, it's, it's, it's far beyond anything. I, I suffered from migraines all my life and uh, I don't even notice migraines anymore because my normal pain level is as, as such that you know they're, they're nothing to me. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's debilitating to say the least. I've had it for five years. Uh, previous to that, parties, music festivals, extreme sports, laughter, you name it. I was the guy who said yes, and now I'm the guy who says yes, but then lets everyone down because I just can't do it. It probably happened from a surfing accident. I, uh, I, I kind of wiped out, contorted under a wave. Um, and uh, the, the timeline kind of fits that uh, it was probably that. Um, the, uh, it started off as a, as a standard leak, which is a, a tear in your dura, um, and uh, after that was fixed, it developed into a venous fistula. So I grew a rogue vein out of the, out of the site that siphoned uh, spinal fluid away. Um, and then it's now turned into trigeminal neuralgia as well. Um, so the, the nerve down the side of this part of the face feels like it's being tasered ever so often, which is kind of nice. NHS say it's one of the most painful things you can have, which is, which is fun. And that's because my brain has sunk to the back of my skull and it's crushing all the nerves all around here, which is all uh, lovely stuff. Um, the symptoms, for me, the most debilitating is the cognitive issues, the short and long-term memory issues. Um, I forget friends' names that I've been mates with for like 10 years. Uh, it's, it, it's weird and it's scary. Um, normal for me now is, is pain. Um, and so I'm, I'm so used to being in pain that that's normal uh, so it is you know it's hard to say um, what my symptoms are now because I'm, I'm so used to the pain now that you know I, I that is my normal the biggest thing that's <laughs> the biggest thing that is affecting me now oh, sorry <laughs> Right, so the biggest thing that's affecting me now is that I can't be the dad that I want to be to my kids, and that's really hard. I, uh, I do as much as I possibly can. I'm, I'm, I'm out there and I'm, I'm rolling around. They, they see the, uh, the fun, active dad, and as soon as they're looking away, I'm, I'm clenching my head or, or or quickly laying down and I, I try and hide it as much as I possibly can. It's put me in debt, it's uh, you know it's ended my career. I, I worked really really hard to get to a, uh, a role where I was uh, in orthopaedics guiding surgeons through complex surgeries um, and it was actually through one of those surgeries that I decided to leave work um, uh, the surgeon said, what's the next step? And I didn't know where, what we were doing. I just completely lost it. And that's you know, one of the, probably the most debilitating parts of the illness. The, there's, you know, the, the, I can't talk properly. Cognitive issues, short and long-term memory issues. I decided I had to leave. Um, so I've been off work for about a year now, um, and that's uh, that's put me in quite bad debt. Um, my treatment is or has been um, glue patches. Um, I've had blood patches. I've had multi-site blood patches up the spine. I had 
surgery about six months ago, which was the first of its kind uh, in the UK, and that was to fix the venous fistula. He's going back in hopefully in the next four weeks, uh, four or five weeks, to do a more risky, complex um, surgery. Um, he, he's going to go deeper in, basically, which, which holds more risks. I don't know how I'll be if, if I do get cured. I think, um, uh, you know, like I said before, I'm so used to my normal um, that uh, it, it would just be the most amazing thing. Yeah, so uh, we're, we're, we're hoping that um, <laughs> I'm having one of those moments. Maybe I had them before, I don't know, but uh, uh, um, it, it, it seems to come more. Uh, um, <laughs> I can't think of the words. So uh, there's, there's, there's proof that uh, I, uh, yeah, I just can't, I can't function uh, as, as I might want to. So uh, maybe I'll send you a new video in about six weeks when I'm all fixed and I can talk properly, but for now, this is what I have to do. <laughs>